hello students welcome back in today's uh, practical we are going to see about emasculation and hybridization techniques in pigeon pea so pigeon pea is nothing but it is also called as tur or arhar so introduction this uh, pigeon pea belongs to the family leguminaceae and sub family papilionaceae there are one cultivated species of this pigeon pea is cajanus cajun which is having a chromosome number 2n is equal to 2x is equal to 22 and wild species are cajanus lanceolotus cajanus holobilis and cajanus cajana cajanifolius so local name in hindi it is called as arhar while in marathi we called it tur so these are the few pictures they are showing the pigeon pea plants in the field as well as you can see the flowers of pigeon pea in this picture so botany if we see the habit so this plants uh, uh having a erect structure so erect branched uh, shrub having 4 to 10 feet height which is cultivated for edible seed in tropical and subtropical region so root system is tap branched with bacterial nodules so they are having a uh, rhizobium bacteria which is grown on the uh, roots so stem stem is erect much branch solid woody green and pubescent they are having small hair like structure on the stem then leaves are alternate petiolate compound trifolate uh, then gland dotted below leaflets are lanceolate if you see lanceolate means at both side they are having a narrow pes and at the center they are having a uh, this length is more at the center okay so lanceolate to narrow elliptical 2 to 4 inches long acuminate softly pubescent on both surfaces then net when stipulate and stipules are there are minute and cadaces then floral biology inflorescence if we see the inflorescence is racemose type so corymose raceme or sometimes it is a terminal panicle if we say about the flower so flower is having a pedicel therefore flower is pedicellate zygomorphic irregular hermaphrodite complete perigynous which is having yellow or orange in color but sometimes brownish at the back so calyx there are two upper lobes united so calyx tube is there so all the sepals are fused together forming a tube shape surrounding your corolla and other parts so toothed or sometime lobe teeth short corolla there are five petals polypetalous means each petal is free from each other the standard is large and broad auricle while the keel is obtuse and incurved descending imbricate activation we can observe here means axillary activation is present and color of corolla is sometimes yellow or pink so there is a variation in corolla color then androecium so stamens are present in 9 plus 1 condition so nine anthers fuse together and one is free so this condition is called as a diadelphus anthers are uniform bicell the next one is a gynoecium gynoecium so single carpel is present in each flower so monocarpellary ovary is superior uh, superior pubescent unilocular few ovelled sessile placentation of ovule is marginal uh, long style is present which is thickened as well as incurved beardless stigma is capitated and terminal fruit uh, is called as a pod or legume many fruits are present on each plant compressed with diagonal depression two or 3 inches long by and half 
broad pubescent and beaked so fruits that pod is having a beak at the end then seeds 3 to 5 in a single pod small sized orbicular and compressed one edge flattened brown colored with a white small hilum on a seed so in this picture you can see the inflorescence of uh, this pigeon pea so oldest flower present at the bottom then at the middle you can see an immature are present at the top so it is a racemous type so it is having a indeterminate type of flowers so here you can see again a, a raceme of yellow color petals are here again you can see here at the top we are having a immature or young flower mature or older flower present in the middle while pods are developed here at the end so you can see here tip of uh, this uh, pigeon pea raceme so color of flower is green in the early development stage of flower the next one this is the view of pigeon pea flower you can see here this is calyx forming a tube surrounding other uh, parts then the largest Uh, petal which is present outside outermost side that is called as a standard then inside standard we are having two petals called as a wings and inside those wings we are having two fused petal so this two fused petal is called as a keel so here you can see this is a calyx only you can observe three sepals if it is unopened or uh, sometimes four one but if you open if you cut you can see here there are five sepals in gamosepalous condition they are fused then corolla so there are various colors you can observe from yellow to orange or sometimes it is pink okay so this is called as a standard which is present in one single number two wings and two keels then androecium you can see 9 plus 1 condition so in these nine anthers filaments are fused together while anthers are free and this is a one anther one stamen is completely free from other okay so this is called as a diadelphous condition then gynoecium so we are having here ovary style and stigma the next point is flowering so you know that this tur or pigeon pea is an often cross pollinated crop the standard petal open first followed by wing and lastly keels are going to open so flower generally open during early morning and remain open for near about 35 to 48 hours and maximum opening of these flowers observe between 9 to 10 am in the morning so anthesis takes place before opening of flower so the process of flowering is continued till the time of harvest the flower are going to close during evening hours after fertilization the development of pod starts the corolla turn from dark yellow to pale yellow so after fertilization the corolla color is going to change from dark yellow to pale yellow it is going to wither and fall down okay so natural cross pollination you can observe in this plant up to 25% then emasculation so generally emasculation is done in evening or early morning on the day of pollination so the flower bud in which corolla is just protruded uh, protruded from uh, calyx 
and having a yellowish color or reddish color means hood stage we have to select for emasculation hold the bird in left hand and with the help of forceps and needle we have to separate the petal carefully then we have to remove all the stamens or anthers along with filament by forceps from the base we have to remove all the anther from the base okay by using magnifying lens you also check emasculating buds okay only the emasculated buds are enclosed in the butter paper bag and it is labeled properly while bagging bud or a branch we have to take care that uh, the other flowers which is open present on the same branch we have to remove so all open flowers as well as pod we have to remove from the branch and only emasculated one we are maintaining and bagging them properly when pollination on the next day morning between 9 to 10 am we have to collect a fresh viable pollen from a desired protected male parent in petri dish and dusted immediately on the stigma of the emasculated flower with the help of hair brush because pollen remain viable for a short period near about 1 to 3 months so immediately you have to do this operation so sometimes this male spike shedding pollen is also inserted into bag of emasculated flower instead of collecting pollen simply we are cutting the branch from male plant and that is inserted in the emasculated flower bag and we are doing a shaking in order to have a effective pollination and after that the spike is covered with bag after pollination and again it is labeled so this is all about uh, floral biology emasculation and pollination techniques in pigeon pea thank you